Good day guys, today I'm excited to show you uh, my garden and my uh, sprinkler uh, watering system. It works absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm using the water from the river on a, uh, a 12 volt battery and a 12 volt uh, small pump and it works just absolutely fantastic. So this is my sprinkler here. It waters the entire garden, which is uh, approximately 40 feet by 35 feet. And I will turn you around here. And this garden hose here goes all the way down to the river, uh, which is about 100 feet away from here. Okay, so there's the, the garden hose. It's going all the way to my pump. This is my 12 volt battery to run the pump. And this here is, is a three quarter line that goes to the river. So uh, yeah, the way I got it set up here, um, if a canoe goes on the river, he's not gonna see my pump because of all the, uh, the vegetation here. So let's go beside here and I'll show you where it goes. There's a, the river right here. Okay, so you see the three-quarter inch line here. And I don't know if you're going to see this. Okay, I don't know if you see this on the camera, but the, uh, the line goes into uh, like half a minnow trap. It's just so to prevent um, the line from touching the bottom of the river, so, it, so that way there's no chance of it sucking any gravel. And I have a three-quarter inch foot valve at the end of the line so that the water, once the pump is done pumping, the water cannot go back in the river. All right, so this is the box I built here just to, uh, just to cover up my pump. So this is a Seaflow pump. Uh, it says here it pumps 5.5 uh, gallon per minute. Um, the, um, the attachments are uh, one inch national pipe tread, but on the suction I put a three quarter inch line because I have about 20 feet of line here. And uh, at first I only had about eight foot of line. I tried it, uh, it performed very well. But this was very close to the river and I was worried if a canoe go by they would see it and you know they could steal the pump or even steal the battery. Uh, so I decided to put a longer line so that they couldn't see it. But I stayed with a half inch line and I've noticed the sprinkler was not shooting as far as before uh, because now I had 20 foot of line instead of 8 feet. So I took the half inch line out and I decided to put three quarter inch to compensate for the length of the pipe and it's performing really good now and again you know I just treaded uh, just a simple garden hose I have about a hundred feet of garden hose and it, it works absolutely perfect and uh, so I just you know all I do to start it I just clamp the negative and the positive to the battery and the pump is running, okay? So I have about uh, five foot of, uh, of wire here. So I'm just gonna stop the pump, just making a little bit of noise. And this is super important. At first I had about 100 feet of uh, extension cord and the pump was not performing good at all. I was pumping maybe maybe not even a quarter of the water that it's pumping now and my sprinkler was like shooting like four feet it was just absolutely ridiculous and, and then I tried a short wa wire and the difference is just absolutely amazing so if you think about it this is a 12 volt pump with a 12 volt battery so if I'm using an extension that's like a hundred feet long um, now I'm no longer gonna get 12 volt to the pump uh, who knows how many volts I'm going to get. I'm going to check that actually in a few minutes. I'm going to show you how many volts I'm losing. 
So anyways, just make sure you got your battery as close as possible to your pump. Uh, if you're going to put a half inch line, uh, go no longer than 10 feet. If you want to go 20 feet, uh, make sure you use a 3 quarter inch line. This is a C-Flow, 5.5 gallons per minute. And uh, you will see, I'll show you the sprinkler and it just works absolutely amazing. Um, I can water the garden four times for one hour. So four nights in a row for one hour before my battery is depleted. And it's not a really big battery. So when it's depleted, whatever, when the garden is, is all nice and wet. So I, I undo the uh, little clamps here. And I just bring the water, the, the water, the battery in the house, charge it, and the next night I'll just bring the battery here, so I'm good for another to water the garden another four nights in a row. So to me, it's not even worth putting putting a solar panel. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you the specs of this pump. So it's a C Flow professional grade pumps. Uh, you can easily get this pump on Amazon or eBay. I think I paid about 125 Canadian dollars for this pump. So uh, open flow 20.0 liters per minute or 5.5 gallons per minute. Volts 12 volt amp, so it's uh, 8 amps. Maximum amp 17 amp. Um, and settings uh, 60 psi. So. What I need to tell you about this pump, let me show you on the other side of the pump first. Okay, so here's the, the front view of the pump. So when I purchased this pump, I had two wires going in here and there's a, and there's a pressure switch inside there and it was defective. Now, as, I, as far as I can tell, this pump is like very high quality. It's very like tough plastic. It, it really looks like a good quality pump. I, I just think I had a really bad luck that the, uh, the pressure switch was defective. So um, how the pressure switch works, let's say you hook up this pump to a pressure tank and once you, you reach uh, 60 PSI in the tank, the, the pump will just shut off. And let's say you use water, let's say you're, you're buying this pump for an RV and you're down to 40 PSI, then the pump starts again. Uh, but for my situation to water the garden uh, with the sprinkler, I didn't need this anyways. So uh, I didn't complain about it because it's just something I didn't need. So I, I just removed the, I took the screws out here, removed the presser switch, removed the wires. So, uh, you know, I got to make sure that I don't uh, pinch the garden hose. That way I could burn the pump, but uh, I'll just be careful about that. Okay, guys. So, I, I just tested the, the voltage and uh, it's the same if I test it directly to the, from the battery or at the end of the 100 foot extension cord. The same extension cord that I used previously in the and the pump, the, the volume that was coming out of the pump was just absolutely ridiculous. So I was wrong earlier when I told you that when you use a 100 foot extension cord you lose voltage because the voltage is the same and I'm going to show you. I got 100 feet of extension cord here. Okay, 12.19 volt. Now I'm going to check directly to the battery post. Okay, 12.19 volts, the same thing. So that means I'm losing current or amps. Believe me, I, I used that extension cord and it was not working for me. So, and uh, I'm not an electrician, so I, I don't know how to check for the amperage, but um, from experience, like I said, uh, use a nice uh, heavy gauge uh, cable. Just got jolted here. <coughs> My, uh, okay, I got heavy gauge wire here, and it's short, it's only five feet, and uh, that's going to work nice for you. All right, now the reason I'm making this video is because I wanted a pump to pump the water from the river directly to a sprinkler, and I could, couldn't find any YouTube videos on that. So, uh, 
if if this is what you want to do um, I'm just making this video to make your life easier so I'm gonna repeat myself okay uh, if you're using a half inch half inch intake pipe um, make sure you go no longer than 10 foot if you want to go longer than 10 foot use three quarter inch no longer than 20 feet your make sure you put a foot valve the one that goes in the river and put it on something on a cinder block or, or whatever because you don't want that foot valve to drag at the bottom of the river and pump gravel then you're just asking for trouble and the other thing to watch out for of course is your cable here put it as short as possible so let's put the pump on and I'm going to show you how well the sprinkler works on this system here Oh, one more thing, be careful when you buy this pump, buy the one that says 5.5 gallons per minute because Seaflow, they sell a lot of pumps there on eBay and Amazon and it's only 3 gallons per minute and that's probably not going to work on this sprinkler, you need more volume. Look at that guys, look at that. That garden, I didn't measure this garden, but it must be at least 35 feet by 40 feet, and it waters the entire garden. This is just absolutely beautiful. This is a total success. So I'm very proud, and uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I could just sit here and watch that for for like an hour. It just does all the work for me. Nice warm water from the river. If you like this video give me a thumbs up. It always helps my channel and thanks for watching.